Welcome back. The top stories continue here on Myanmar International. I'm Randall Chamias. Although 76 houses in Shuiyin, a village in Mangso Township, were burned down due to the conflicts in June, those houses were rebuilt. It is learned that 325 people from 87 households are now living peacefully and are now engaged in agriculture. Lieutenant General Lamin of the Commander-in-Chief Office Army, Union Minister for Border Affairs, Lieutenant General Tente, and Responsible Personal Inspector Tauto Palewe, Tangpio Lewe, and Mangto areas on the 28th of October. At the Tangpio village, they asked about the situation and provided relief aid. At the General Administrative Department in Palewe, they attended the ceremony to meet with departments concerned. Town elders and locals were acting general administrator, and they also reported on salient points of the township, measures for regional development and necessities. In response, the Union Minister said that the Ministry of Border Affairs will open a youth training school next school year where the national racist youths can pursue higher education free of charge. Continuing, he said that ports and roads in Palewe will improve as measures will be taken for development of a Kaladan Basin in cooperation with India. Since it is sharing border with India and Bangladesh, businesses can be done with neighboring countries. United and cooperative efforts need to be made for the development of their own region. At the Miwa village in Palewa Township, bordering with India, situated in the upper reach of Kaladan River, they met town elders and explained the government's plan to fulfill the needs for education, health, transportation, water availability, and job opportunity sectors for rural development. At the Tangpio Levy Sub Township, they made aerial inspection on security condition, border roads, and border fence. At the Shuiyin A village, they met local nationals who suffered during conflicts last June of this year and provided aid. They inspected the newly built houses of the local nationals and culinary crops being planted in the house compounds. Meanwhile, Central Cooperatives Association held a seminar for the development of cooperatives in Yangon on 27th October with an address by Union Minister for Cooperatives Uchiho San. The minister stated on implementation measures of the ministry based on reform strategy of the government, facts and data of rural and urban community, international cooperative system, and proven programs. Success of prospective cooperative societies mainly depend on investment, technology, market competency, efficiency, human resource, and finances. He also stressed on requirement of cooperatives to bring public trust back. The experts also made suggestions for the development of cooperative works. Meanwhile, a local private company and a Chinese company joined forces for more rice production in Nipida. Shui Wind Company and China CETC Company is jointly operating Paletwe Paddy Seed Production Farm in Dekinaturi Township, Nepito. On 28 October, farmers from Bago and Yawadi regions started a farm operated with good agricultural practice. Union Minister for Agriculture and Irrigation Umihai assured that weather resistant species will be distributed to the farmers. He added that the hybrid species are being produced in cooperation with Chinese experts and more researches will be conducted to produce quality species. The Rector of Agriculture University, the Chinese experts and officials from Shui Tanwin Company also made discussion together with Deputy Minister Wu Ontan. The study group later observed pollination process in the farm and 100-day-old paddy field. They also viewed peanut and soybean plantations as well as the seed refinery in Pobaturi Township. The Union Minister presented 1,200 kilos of hybrid maize species 
to the farmers, and the farmers also purchased Paletre hybrid paddy seeds. That's all we have for now. Thanks for the company, and see you again next time.